from a tourist camera an image of the US soldier who broke for the border. In the black cap, this is Travis King, minutes before he ran into North Korea. The private second class blended in with a tour group before running off at speed. I noticed some guy running very, very fast towards the North Korean side. Um, I thought it was some kind of stupid stunt that he was doing for TikTok or something like that. And I thought that was an incredibly stupid thing to do in a place like that. And then he, but he sort of just didn't slow down and didn't stop. Um, there were soldiers who had been supervising uh, us. They yelled, um, they chased him, but he was going so fast and he was so close to the border um, that they couldn't catch him. The 23-year-old soldier had been serving with the US military, seen here conducting drills in South Korea. Private King had been in trouble with the authorities following alleged assaults, including punching a South Korean national in a nightclub. He was also fined for kicking the door of a police car. It's unclear how he ended up in the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea, where he made a run for it. The soldier had been escorted to the airport to be flown back to base in the United States, but he didn't board his flight. And I, I don't understand why he would do that, because it seemed like he was on his way back here to the United States. He was on his way home. So it, it don't make no sense to me. Something just got to be going on in his head to make him feel like he need to stay there or whatever. Like, I don't know. The incident evokes memories of American student Otto Warmbier, arrested in North Korea in 2016. He would subsequently be flown home in a vegetative state and die soon after. The United States warns its citizens against entry into North Korea, citing the risk of arrest. Against the backdrop of heightened tension between the two countries, the story of the missing soldier compounds a complicated diplomacy. James Matthews, Sky News, in Washington.